magnetic field around a current carrying loop and a solenoid. Iron filings form concentric circles around a straight conductor. Now let's replace this conductor with a conducting loop with a current running through it. When we tap the sheet, we get two sets of circular rings because the conductor passes through the sheet twice. Notice that near points A and B, the field lines are close together, though they never intersect. Further away, they're more widely spaced. Let's visualize the magnetic field around the whole loop. The field around a straight conductor is in concentric circles. So if we bend this conductor into a loop, how will it affect the magnetic field? First, divide the loop into segments, such that each segment can be considered as a straight conductor. We can find the magnetic field around each one using the right-hand rule. Point the thumb of your right hand in the direction of the current, and the direction in which your fingers wrap around the segment is the direction of the magnetic field. However, the field lines are circular only near the conductor. Near the center of the loop, they are close together, but they still never overlap. Then they spread apart and become distorted as we move away from the loop. The resulting field in a plane perpendicular to the loop looks like this. Now let's look at the magnetic field around a solenoid. A solenoid is a conductor wound into a spiral, so it has many closely spaced turns. Think of each turn as a circular current carrying loop. Let's connect the solenoid to a battery and spread iron filings around it. When we tap the sheet, the iron filings show us the field lines of the solenoid. They are similar to those of a bar magnet. To determine the direction of this magnetic field, consider the field of each turn of the solenoid. These fields are in concentric circles and the larger circles merge to form long, continuous loops. The magnetic field of the entire solenoid is therefore in the form of continuous loops. If you point the fingers of your right hand in the direction of the current, your thumb will point to the end of the solenoid where the field lines emerge.